Hello and welcome to the Watermark Water Cooler. We have Kirsten here today. Hi. Kirsten um, is a graphic designer with us. Kirsten, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I work out a lot. <laughs> I do CrossFit. Yeah. And I love to bake. A baking. baking and a lot of CrossFit. Kirsten brings in so many good, delicious <laughs> things. And then the polar opposite of that is she works out a lot. So it's like... <laughs> I work out a lot. So, so I you can, don't feel guilty eating my I like it. What about the rest of us that you bring the food to? I only bring a limited amount, but right. I like to share. <laughs> cool. We're going to talk a little bit today about um, video and how to make it accessible to everyone and how important it is to be accessible to everyone. Um, Kirsten, why is video so important right now anyways? Video is very important for lots of different reasons. One, it helps create authentic content that you can connect to your users with and your audience. It's all over social media, even platforms like Instagram that were made originally just for photos mm -hmm. are now moving towards more videos. And then, you know, it's just a great way to produce content. You can tell stories and it's different than just a static image on a page. Having that movement really helps capture attention from people who are just, you know, on their phone or on the computer, just scrolling. Yeah. I mean, it's a wildly growing platform. If you don't have it in your media mix, I think it's time. Mm -hmm. um, we're probably already too late also, but there's like, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you're never too late. I take that back. But I mean, it, you know, it is something that is really important in the media mix. Um, how do we make it this accessible to everybody? Like people think to themselves, I got to have all this fancy equipment and it's expensive and I have to edit it and mm -hmm. it takes time. And we will say video producing, editing takes time, it a does, little bit yes. more time than like <laughs> a graphic would, um, whether you're doing it on the cheap side of things or the expensive side of things. It takes time. Like you have mm -hmm. to edit it and make it look good. But, but what are some ways to make this affordable for people? Oh yeah. So you can make video editing as expensive or as cheap as you want. The cheaper options would be your smartphone. Most people have one nowadays and most of them produce really good quality video and audio that you can utilize readily. So all you really need is to just grab your smartphone. You can grab a cheap tripod to mm -hmm. set up on a table. And then you just have a nice background. Um, you can set in front of a wall. You can be by a window for some natural light. So you don't have to worry about any lighting. Even those nice ring lights that people get yeah. for when they're on all the webcam calls. Um, that is the cheapest way to have a setup um, to start filming and mm -hmm. to get the audio. And then for video editing... You have the iMovie on Mac, which is free to all those users. And then you have the Windows Movie Maker for all the Windows users. And then, you know, you can get into the fancy Adobe Suite or Final Cut Pro. If you really want to get around and mess with it, that can get expensive. So free options are a great way to start. Yeah, I mean, I think also authentic content people connect with anyways. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be this highly produced thing to make somebody want to watch it. I actually think sometimes that content is actually more engaging to people because I feel like this wasn't highly produced. It wasn't this like fake thing. Mm -hmm. Especially for social media, like TikTok yeah. is very forgiving for, you know, if you have lots of rough stuff that you're just putting out yeah. there because it, it comes and goes so quick. Yeah. Like TikTok is very forgiving because um, you don't want to create like a commercial quality video just to be on there for less than a minute because people are just going to scroll past. Right. So are you struggling implementing a CRM? Check out our CRM training videos where you will learn how to unify sales and marketing, help sales hit their goals, CRM utilization, automation of mundane tasks. Click in the link below to find out more. I think one other thing that I think I feel like is really important that even if the video quality isn't great, audio quality can really, it's hard to hear. Like people are going to drop off because they're just like, I don't really know. I can't hear what's going on. It feels less, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Audio is just so important. What do you, what's your thought on that? 
Yes, audio is very important. <laughs> We've realized that. Yeah, too. almost almost Even more important than the vi- than the video quality. It yeah. can be because I mean you have podcasts. That's why podcasts are so uh, yeah. popular as well. Yeah. Um, but yes, you want your users to be able to hear you mm-hmm. um, if you have the audio right, and you know if you have if you're filming on a camera and it's not the best quality, you can pick up cheap microphones mm-hmm. for less than a hundred dollars, mm-hmm. and then set it up and go that route. Yeah. Okay. So to keep this brief and short, I think we covered a lot of things to help you like bring video into your media mix and how important it is. Um, any final like thoughts for the audience of tips or tricks or something that they should use um, to, to make something great? Uh, tips or tricks, good lighting. Again, natural lighting. You can set yourself up by a window. Um, you can even take a lamp and like redirect the light so it bounces off a wall. So it's indirect, not harsh. You don't want to be super washed out or overexposed in your video. Um, audio, having being in a room that doesn't have a lot of echo or bounce will help make that really good. And then a closet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, yes. Yes. All that stuff inside of there, like dampens all, all yeah, mm-hmm. dampens all the sound. Like jump mm-hmm. in a closet, record something. Great place to record audio. Yes, absolutely. And and you don't have to make it super produced. So again, be authentic. Try to have a little fun with it, especially if it's going to be for any type of social media content and you'll really be able to connect with your users better. Cool. Kirsten, thanks so much for being on the water cooler with us. Thank you. And thank you as always. And we'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the Watermark Water Cooler. We value your opinion and want to deliver the best content possible. To do that, we need your comments and feedback. What do you want to see or learn? Tools, techniques, behind the scenes? Comment below and make your idea our next video.